Hey troops, Jeff Bowders here with Drum Discipline Academy and welcome. This is the first lesson in the Groove Construction Series. In this first video, I wanna start off by giving you an idea of what to expect from these lessons on groove construction. Where do they come from? What are we doing and why are we doing it? Well, pretty basic. Myself and maybe like you have hundreds of drum books, some amazing and, and some okay, but the amount of information in these books is staggering, especially when you use them as a starting point to come up with your own ideas. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna teach you how to take a relatively basic idea from a wide variety of drum method books that you may be familiar with, maybe some not so much, and just show you a simple process of how you can start to come up with your own unique grooves. To start the series off, we're gonna use a book by amazing drummer and educator, Bobby Rock. This book is called The Encyclopedia of Groove, which I think is pretty appropriate right now. This book covers a lot of ground from really simple beats to pretty advanced beats, but the cool thing is it, it progresses nicely. So check it out if you haven't already. Also, since we're gonna be exploring a lot of options to help you create some really unique and cool grooves, make sure to hit the link so you download your free PDF for this lesson so you know exactly what we're doing and then that way you'll always have it as a reference. So the basic groove that we're gonna be constructing from this book is exercise nine on page 10. It's got this really cool displaced backbeat snare on the end of two, which just gives it a, a really cool funky feel. This is exercise 1A on your PDF. Now we're gonna substitute that eighth note ride variation we just played on the hi-hat to 1 E and, 2 E and, 3 E and, 4 E and. Two sixteenth notes and an eighth note. This ride variation is gonna give this groove a little bit more forward motion. Check it out, this is 1 B. So far, we've been playing this groove using layered coordination, meaning limbs are playing at the same time. Well, now we're gonna take more of a linear approach. We're gonna construct this using linear coordination. Linear just means no two or more limbs are gonna be playing at the same time. So we're gonna keep the same kick pattern and that same snare displaced backbeat pattern, right? The and of two and four. But now all the remaining 16th notes that are in the bar here, we're gonna fill those in with various hi-hat and ghost notes on the snare. It's gonna be really cool. Check it out, this is 2A. All right, next we're gonna play that exact same linear groove, but now we're just gonna spice it up a little bit by doubling the E and AND of beat one. Right, right, left, left. These little 30 second notes are gonna add some tasty flavor to this linear groove. Check it out, this is 2B. Two one, two, All right, finally, now we're gonna explore some orchestrations. We're still gonna play that exact same linear groove, but now we're gonna use our right hand to incorporate some toms. 
So on the A uh of beat three, we're gonna play tom one. And then on the E and of beat four, we're gonna play down here to tom three. Check it out, this is three one, A. Two. All right, here it is, the whole enchilada. We're gonna take that same orchestrated groove, but now we're just gonna apply those doubles, those 30 second notes we played from 2B. And just for fun, we're gonna add a little hi-hat opening on the uh of beat two, just to really send it over the top. So this is it, this is our final constructed groove. Let's check it out, 3B. As you can see, we've come a long way from that basic groove we use from Bobby Rock's book. And if some of these grooves are a little bit out of your comfort zone right now, that's great, that's fine. Just focus on the ones you can play now and then slowly work down the rest of the page. That's the whole point. And that's why I want you to have the PDF that goes along with this lesson so you can always have it to work on. And as always, if you got some value from this lesson and maybe some new and cool ways that you can construct your own unique grooves, can you please like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. This channel, myself, we'd greatly appreciate that. And also leave me a comment. Let me know what your all-time favorite drum book is. All right, troops, thanks for checking out the very first lesson in this Groove Construction series. So many other lessons to come. I can't wait to share this really fun adventure with you. In the meantime, go buy this book, Bobby Rock, the Encyclopedia of Groove. It's awesome. And while you're at it, buy three other drum books. It's good for you, I guarantee it, all right? And as always, stay focused, practice with purpose. We'll see you next time.